what is happening people today we are going to talk about a very simple program we are not going to go very complex because this program itself is way too complex for normal people to understand a lot of uh, mistakes happen in this program and uh, we want we'd like to tell you that there are a few basics you need to understand before you can create a program like this so the program is to find is a perfect square now we all know what is a perfect square like if we take a number say for example 25 uh, it's a perfect square because 5 into 5 is 25 similarly you have 81 you have 7 7s seven of 49 these are all perfect squares now before we jump inside the program I would like to tell you about the basics now in terms of programming language we need to understand what integers are and what a double is now an integer is like the simple numbers like 1 to 0 so if you start counting it's like 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 and 0 and a combination of any of these numbers or the total numbers give you a bunch of numbers right whereas a double is something which is with decimal so let's say the value of pi is 3.14 in cut short terms so when you talk about 3.14 you can either state it as a float number or a double number it doesn't matter but generally the decimal counts if we consider uh, a value which is let's say 71 for this particular program now 71 doesn't make any perfect square because it's pretty known to us like 8 is a 64 and the next thing which comes is 9 9 is a uh, 81 so 71 lies in between eight, uh, 64 and 81 so it's pretty obvious that you cannot get a square of 71 but how you tell the program to work in a way that it actually gives you a solution telling you that 71 is not a perfect square to do this we will test two scenarios one with a perfect square the other with the 71 of course uh, which I have just mentioned to you now let's head over to casting casting is a process where you take a double number or an integer number and convert it to double it is important at this point for you guys to know that if you don't have a casting procedure going on you might get a result which is not uh, like uh, you will not get the perfect square okay because if you take double and then you take another variable as double the system will not give you a perfect square so what we need to do is over here we will take a number as double and then cast it to integer like we tell the system okay change this number to integer but before that we will also do some operations in terms of uh, you know squaring or finding the roots of that particular double number and then take that number into the integer form which will finally cancel out all the uh, the decimal figures and then store it into another variable thereby passing the variables and checking whether that particular number is is a perfect square or not so let's see how this it's done because i have already made the program for you you can try it on your own it doesn't matter but I have made the program for you and I'll leave the source code in the description below so that you can copy it and uh, you can uh, work it out. Over here I'm using Net, uh, Eclipse workspace. If, if you're using BlueJ, pretty much the same. Just don't forget to import the packages and all. So let's get started. We head over to square root.java. This is the file which I have already prepared for you. Now let's go step by step. The first thing which I have written is a, is a question which is from a class 8 ICSC syllabus book okay and it states write a number to input write a program to input a number and find a perfect square now we all know that the, what, what a perfect square is right so 81 is a perfect square and we have 4 as a perfect square okay 9 is also a perfect square now the imports what are the things we have imported we have imported input outputs the utilities because we are going to use scanner systems the language although not necessary but I have imported anyhow okay and the math function because we are going to use a certain specific math function over here for 
the uh, program to understand what operations we are going to perform okay because it's mathematical uh, mathematics oriented so we have to import this if you don't import it you will not get the program going on right okay so the class opens and it's a public class and i have named it a square root make sure that your file name here and the class name stays the same any deviations would cause the program not to compile properly then we have the main program under the main program you can see that i have declared a number which i am going to choose as as a number to test for example 71 and 81 here you see these two numbers we will test but these two numbers should be initialized in a variable and that's the reason i have taken the number as a double so whenever i enter 71 the number gets stored as 71.00 okay now the next thing which i have done is i have utilized the scanner uh, uh, method okay now the scanner what it does is it takes the number for your uh, referencing so the number has to be entered by the user and that is the reason i have entered scanner as a number if i am not using scanner i can just initialize with an equal to here and maybe i can write 71 so that i initialize the uh, number and then you start off but then you don't require the scanner because you have already initialized the number so we don't need the 71 and an equal to over here so i will remove these okay then the heading of the program so i have used a system.out.println again ln is like the cursor starts blinking on the next line and in the double quotes i have written enter a number to find a perfect square now why it is a perfect square because the program says so it doesn't matter okay anyways it, it, it has to be a perfect square because 5 into 5 has to be 25 and 24 never comes near 25 as a perfect square okay so the next thing which we do is to get the number stored so in order to do that let's say i have taken 71 over here now the 71 gets stored in the number here as a double number so the get data dot next double is a method calling to store the number 71 into the variable number keep it in mind okay the next thing which i have done is i have uh, specified an integer i okay it's just a variable doesn't matter you can put your own variables but be sure that you remember them now comes the casting method but before i come to the casting method i would like to discuss more about the this particular method this is referenced by the java.math.utility and it says uh, it, it, it gives you the square root of a particular number so it returns the correctly rounded positive square root of a double value okay so as you see it returns a positive rounded square root which means if you have a number which is 71 and it's a double value that means it will be like 71 decimal zero zero now it will round it to 71 and it will pass on to this integer which we have specified so we say hey compiler let's see i have given you this double number as 71 now what you do is you change it into int as like 71.00 happens to be 71 and then store it into the variable i for a later purpose then the next step which i have done is i have initialized another vari variable so now 71 if you see carefully let's go ahead and do a little bit of calculation here so now if i take calculator and if i place 71 and hit a square root you see i get 8.42614 it's a long bunch of decimal numbers now in this case if i just hit 81 and hit a root i get just 9 so 9 is an integer whereas 71's square root is a double number you see a bunch of numbers coming behind the decimal number 
okay so I'll minimize this for the time being so I have 8.4 something over here now this has turned out to be 8 for the moment okay because it has just rounded to the next number so integer i is right now storing the figure 8 so integer j comes into i into i which is 64 over here because the number has been changed to 8 as it is rounded off and integer j stores the variable of 64 remember that our initial number over here was 71 and j is now 64 so when you do a system.printout.ln we write it's a perfect square if and only if j equals to equals to number so now j is not equal to equal to number because we have 64 as j okay and 71 as initial value of the number okay now I'll hit a space over here and I'll just close the codes just to represent it as a comment just for you guys to understand this now since this particular condition is not being fulfilled the if statement will not execute this okay but it will execute the else statement what if the number and the the, the variable uh, or the figure which is stored in j is not the same then in that case the system will print out it is not a perfect square it will also print out the number for you for reference purposes and it will also print out a space remember the plus is a concatenation so you are adding uh, like we say uh, oh, when you go to buy a bed you say like uh, okay do we get uh, tables and chairs so you're adding right so it's the same way you add the, uh, the the comment over here the statement over here in double quotes then you are asking the system to print out the number as well and then again a bunch of space and then you're finally giving the value of j as well to see what is the effective value of j at that point of execution so that means you will get to know the number which you have input in and the value of j which the system has calculated for you to give you a solution which says that it is not a perfect square let's run this program and see how things go let me save it over here and let's run it over here real quick okay enter a number to find a perfect square so now i hit 71 as i said i hit enter now you see it's not a perfect square because 71 is uh, uh, as it is uh, given in the system and see it's giving you a double value and j value of j as we described since the casting happened it is giving you 64 as a value now you might ask me hey dude what happens if i hit uh, you know 81 all right let's try it out and see press control 11 f11 and then again the same thing to enter a number and find a perfect square so now all right i'll do it in a later uh, in a different way i will not hit 81 i will rather hit 7 7 to 49 let's say 49 okay hit enter and oh wow it's a perfect square because 49 is double and the value stored in j is also 49 so as you can see the decimal is zero so any decimals, uh, the, the decimal and zero gets uh, neglected and the value also is considered as the main value, the principal value. The first two digits before the decimal is considered as a principal value and that is the reason the casting is very necessary. So next time, dear friends, don't forget when you are using a math.sqrt math uh, method don't you don't forget to you know cast it into an integer and uh, and and uh, uh, make a mistake out of it okay so this is the program for reference purposes i will place this as i said before i will place all of this into the um, uh, uh, the comment box you can refer it at any point of time you require it 
just uh, let me know your comments if you have any other ways to do this particular program do uh, feel free to you know just comment below and i'll upload your comments you know praising is always necessary appreciation is always good so it, this is how we make you know connections over like uh, wide channel networks and uh, let me know what you think about this video and if you have your own views just go ahead and put it through as well and i will be happy enough to put your views as well okay this is manage with you like share and subscribe and let people know that java is fun